My name is Alan Sylvia and I'm with Hitachi Solutions. And in this video segment, I'm going to show you multi-touch gestures. First and foremost, I need to be sure that I am in IntelliPen mode. Okay, so select that. My status indicator tells me that I am in IntelliPen mode. So that's the mode that I need to be in in order to do these gestures. I've also selected a piece of clip art out of my library. And this is the Earth structure. The first thing that I'm going to show you now is the zoom in and zoom out feature. What you will do is you will take two fingers, two points of contact, put it on the board at the same time, spread them apart to make it a little bit large, and then bring it back in to make it a little bit smaller. Let me show you how to do that. Two fingers, put it on the board. You see that little kind of blue bullseye there? And all I'm doing is stretching it apart, okay? Now, the usefulness of this is if someone is way in the back of the room and you have a small picture, you have the ability now to be able to zoom in, in a little bit so that way people in the back can see the actual image. To make it a little bit smaller now, all I'm going to do is take my two fingers, put it on the board, and pull them back. Simply by doing this and pulling it back. So that's the zoom in and zoom out feature. The next gesture that I'd like to show you is scrolling. Now, with the scroll feature, you can use any pen tool. It does not matter which one that you are in. What you'll do is you'll take either the back of your hand or the side of your fist and basically put it on the board. And you have now the ability to be able to move it up or down or left or right. Now, the advantage to this is the fact is that if I'm writing or annotating and I have a series of notes here and I have to have a little more space, I can simply, what we call it, expandable space, just kind of move it up and then continue to write on the board. So again, this gesture, simple scrolling, just putting a hand or your fist on the board. Again, it does not matter which pen tool that you're in, and it gives you the ability to be able to scroll up, down, left, or right. The next feature that I would like to show you in our gesture uh, segment is striking out or deleting. Now, this function you will need to be in your IntelliPen. I know I'm in IntelliPen because that's what my status bar indicates. So now what I will do is show you how to delete. Simply by putting the letter X, it will actually work as a strikeout. So, for example, if I choose to get rid of the word earth structure, by simply putting the letter X, it will remove it. If I want to remove delete, again, simply putting the letter X, and it will remove that as well. If I want to, I can scroll over here, and if I want to get rid of this object, the same thing will apply. Throwing the letter X, and it will go away. So that is how you use the delete function or the strikeout function by using your IntelliPen. The next gesture that I would like to show you is the eraser gesture. This is a two-finger gesture that you put on the board, and once you do that, it will bring up your eraser tool. The advantage to this is, this time I'm in IntelliPen. However, you can be in any pen mode, it really doesn't matter. But I'll just use my IntelliPen for now. If I want to, I can simply write. And let's say, after I'm finished, I want to erase that. All I do is put two fingers on the board, my eraser pops up, and I can erase that content off the board. Incidentally, while I'm on the eraser, our eraser is, a little, is certainly unique. We have the ability to be able to basically modify an image that we pulled from Google. Again, with two fingers, simply put the eraser, activates the eraser tool, and now I have the ability now to move the labels off this image. Now, this is unique. I'm truly editing this image. I'm not throwing white ink on it like most people would do. How do I know? I simply select, and once I move it, you'll notice that the labels are still missing. So that is the eraser gesture. The next gesture I would like to show you is the right-click function. Now, right-click function, similar to the eraser, is a two-finger gesture. Okay? What I want to do is minimize my software and go out to my desktop, two fingers, and it will bring up my right-click menu. So remember, Inside our Starboard software, if you use two fingers, it's an eraser feature. Outside the software, on the desktop, on a web page, it will give you your right-click function.